Good morning. We are made for more. This past weekend, I was able to go up to our church camp and have a men's retreat. We call it Men's Revive. And a passage of scripture was just kept going through my head, something I wanted to share uh, while I was up there leading music. And uh, I think the Lord really used it in my life, sharing it. And I wanted to share it with you also this morning. It's Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 through 10. And you were dead in your trespasses and sins in which you previously lived, according to the ways of this world, according to the ruler of the power of the air, the spirit now working in disobedience. We too all previously lived among them in our fleshly desires, carrying out the inclinations of our flesh and thoughts, and we were by nature children under wrath, as the others were also. But God, who is rich in mercy, because of his great love that he had for us, made us alive with Christ, even though we were dead in trespasses. You are saved by grace. He also raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavens in Christ Jesus, so that in the coming ages he might display the immeasurable riches of his grace through his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For you are saved by grace through faith. And this is not from yourselves, it is God's gift, not from works so that no one can boast. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works which God prepared ahead of time for us to do. In verse 1 it says that we are dead. In fact, he goes on and explains further how just how helpless and dead we are to God when we're in our sins. That's verse 1. Verse 4, God steps in and he changes everything so that by the time we get to verse 10, we're actually doing the things that God wants us to do. We're doing the good works that God has prepared beforehand that we would do. Uh, what a beautiful picture of the progression that Jesus has in plan for us, uh, that though we are physically born in a spiritually dead state, God steps in, we believe, we respond in faith, he gives us that faith. Uh, it's that, that faith is a gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should be arrogant or proud in themselves. And then he turns what once was dead into something that's useful, into someone who's useful for him. I trust that you are one of his children and that you are being useful for him. If not, would you contact me? Our website is in the, the description of this video and you can get a hold of me that way. I'd love to talk to you more about what it means to be God's child and to be useful for him, to be raised from death unto life, unto being a servant of God. So thanks for listening. I'll see you next time on Made For More.